Hey guys, welcome to Epic Coding for Everyone channel. What will you learn from this video? Reference types, objects, array, and functions. Let's start coding. We will talk about reference types in this tutorial. Let's start from object. We use object when we deal with multiple related variables. We put these variables inside of an object. Let's create an example for it. We need to have two variables for it. Let me comment them out. We will use these variables in this example. Dates variable are related. They are part of representation of a student. So instead of declaring two variables, we can declare a student object. Instead of reference these two variables, we can just reference the student object. Let's create our student object. Let student equal and curly brace and semicolon. We use curly brace for object and we need to add a key and value. Key is property of the object. In this example, our properties, it means keys, are student name and student age. Let's add our first key, student name and colon and value mark and comma then let's add second property it means second key student h 10 our object is ready we don't need any more that variables let me comment them out let's display our student object on our console console log student and let's save it and have a look at it you see guys, we see our key and values. If you want, you can change value of any key before displaying on your console. There are two ways to do that. Let's have a look at the first one. Student, let's say student name and value, let's say David and semicolon. Let's save it and have a look at it. As you see, we see all keys and values in the object. If you want, you can see specific key in the object. We just need to add a dot and type the key name. Let's say student age. Let's save it and have a look at it. You see guys, we just see student age. Let's have a look at another way to change key values. We use Barak for it. Student Barak's and student age equal let's say 20. Let's save it and have a look at it. You see guys we see new age. We can also use that method dynamically. For example let's create another variable. Let selected student age and semicolon. We just need to remove that one and type variable name selected and let's change value. And let's save it. You see, guys, we see the new number. We will have lots of examples in our future tutorials. That's all for now. Thank you so much for watching it. See you in the next video.